Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, yesterday, thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, as I was sharing yesterday, the Spirit of God, the anointing was just flowing all over me. <laughs> and, and I believe the same thing was happening in your life, and it continued. Now, I was saying how you receive divine health. See, you receive it. It's not a drug that God gives to you and says, okay, from now on, I walk in divine health. No. You see, that's the mistake we, we make many times. You see, sometimes even preachers who have received this truth end up falling sick and even some die in sickness. Now, not because the truth expired, but you know what? They did not continue in it. The fact that you're hearing it now and it's a revelation to you doesn't mean it's settled. No. How is it settled? It's settled when you walk it all the time. Praise God. You walk it all the time so you ought to remember. You don't need to be sick before you remember that God is your healer. No. Even right now that you are well. You know sometimes you just go before the Lord and say, Lord, thank you. You know, Lord, it's that, you see, that's why you spend them with the, the, with the word of God. That's why you spend them studying the scriptures. That's why you, you, you fellowship with other believers. You know, sometimes you're fellowshipping with a believer and then he's just sharing. He said, do, you know, do you know God healed me of an ailment miraculously? And then the person just sharing and sharing. He said, wow, praise God. You know, you finish fellowshipping with that person and you go back home. What do you do? Don't you say, man, ah, thank God for that miracle. Yes, you bless the Father. I just want to thank you for, for healing brother so and so or for healing sister so and so. I just bless your name because you are you are so good. You know exactly that's what you said concerning you know us you being our health. You said you are the Lord, our healer. That means you you are the God who takes responsibility for our health. And you just proved it to that sister. Lord, you are just awesome. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, let me tell you something. As you are praying like that, your mind is on him where healing is concerned. Now, what, when that starts happening, the Holy Spirit begins to teach you some more. I'm telling you. He begins to teach you some more where health is concerned. Now, as he's teaching you what's going on, he's cleansing you. He's clean. That, that's what it said in John 15, verse 3. It says, you are cleansed and pruned already because of the word which I have given you. The teachings I have discussed with you. So when those teachings from the Holy Spirit, now this is the reason John said, you have no need that any man should teach you. But as the Spirit of God teaches you and it's true, even so you should remain, remain, abide. Do you know sometimes you can just be worshiping God and He'll begin to talk to you about water. He'll begin to tell you, you know what, if you begin to take this, this, this measure of water on a daily basis, and He'll tell you why. Now what's He going to tell you? He's taking you to the truth. You see, the Bible says, Jesus actually said, He says, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. In John chapter 8, verse 31. It says, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples in and you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. Now, what the Holy Spirit does inside of you is bringing truth. See, when he says the teachings that I discuss with you, when he's releasing those teachings inside of you, truth is, he's taking you to truth. So if the Holy Spirit is talking to you about water, he's taking you to the depth of truth concerning water. Why God made water. Why God made us to drink water. See? The same thing with food. The same thing with every... I'll tell you the truth. And let me tell you something. When those teachings are coming to you, what's going on? Healing. Healing is taking place. See? You know, you know doctors will tell you, you may have malaria parasites. You know, if you stay in this part of the world, they will always say, everybody have malaria parasites. You know, I remember one time, my, my, my little baby, who was just about 11 months old now you know it was running temperature and then we prayed and and and, and it just persisted so we're wondering what what it was and then we decided to go to the hospital to see the doctor 
And we got to the doctor and the doctor said, oh, um, has he had malaria before? I said, no, no that, 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 that period, that time he was about seven months old. So the doctor said, have you, has he had malaria? I said, no. And I said, he can't have malaria. The doctor said, ah, no, don't, don't say that. that. He stopped. He, did he do exclusive? Oh, yes, we did. Ah, after six months, you should be expecting him. I said, no, 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 no. He doesn't have malaria. He's good. And the doctor said, well, let's test. I said, no, he can't have malaria. And then we, we did, 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 the doctor said something. said, no, everybody around here will have malaria somehow in their body, even if it's not full blown, you know. I said, this one doesn't have. I actually said, all my children don't have malaria. Praise God. And then the doctor said, okay, test him. And then they tested and malaria, zero. The doctor was like, really? I said, I told you. Praise God. Now later we found out it was just teething that was running the temperature. Praise God. Now, you see, the doctors will tell you all the states. But you know the truth is what the Holy Ghost tells you. Now, now what the Holy Ghost tells you is what you should live by. Are you getting what I'm saying? Not what the doctors say. Not what science says. Science may say one thing, but the Holy Spirit is saying something else. Who are you going to believe? That's why Isaiah asks, whose report would you believe? So when you start receiving those teachings from the Holy Spirit, and he will tell you definite things. I'm telling you the truth. The Holy Spirit ends his teaching with a command. So he will be telling, you know what, this, 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 then he'll tell you, listen, from henceforth, begin to eat this or begin to do this or begin to do this. Whatever he tells you, stick with it. And you will begin to see the miraculous power. You will not know why you've not been sick for the past five years. You will not be able to understand. You will not be able to explain it. But this is how it works. You need to receive this because my time is up. Praise God. The power of God is working in your body even right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Until tomorrow, this is Atuba Judge. God bless you. Bye-bye.